What's up guys, Becky here, and today we are going to talk about tailbone pain. So if you ever experience tailbone pain, like right there in your butt, on your tailbone, it feels very sensitive, it's kind of throbbing. If you feel that pain with sitting, then these exercises are for you. Now what you will need is a trigger point ball or some kind of massage ball. You can find these very easily anywhere over the internet. You can also go over to Walmart or Canadian Tire and get yourself a little lacrosse ball that should do the trick, but you want a ball that is firm enough, not something that's gonna give when you sit on it, because we're gonna use this later in this video for some soft tissue release. But first, let's talk about positions. So if you have tailbone pain, chances are you could be sitting on your tailbone. So there's a few structures here in your pelvis. You have your ilium, which are the, the two top of the hip bones. You have your sacrum, which is that back triangle bone. You have your sits bones, which are the two bony bones you're sitting on and at the bottom of the sacrum the end of your spine you have your coccyx which is your tailbone and the coccyx is surrounded by these little muscles kind of like a hammock which is your pelvic floor now a lot of us walk around with a very clenched and tight pelvic floor which is probably contrary to what you've heard a lot of times you have probably been told make sure you do kegels and a lot of us have done our kegels but we've done them a little bit to death so you're always kind of lifting and clenching through your pelvic floor so one thing I want to educate you on today, or at least bring to your awareness or your consciousness, is if you are clenching your pelvic floor, just give yourself a little breath and try to release. So don't clench in your pelvic floor, your anus, or at your vagina. If you're really lifting, lifting, make sure you can send out that energy and kind of release a little bit, and that might help to really move the needle on your tailbone pain. But these other exercises will definitely help too. So let's talk about what are you sitting on when you feel that tailbone pain. So right here, I am sitting on my two sits bones. So if you move the fleshy parts out from under your bum, you feel your two sits bones, and that's where we should be sitting on, sitting on those sitting bones. It's how our pelvis is designed to sit. But a lot of us, when we get slumped over and lazy, we tend to rock through our spine, and we'll sit right back there on that coccyx, or our sacrum, our tailbone area, right? So you don't wanna sit off your sitting bones on this rounded out pelvis. You wanna perch yourself right up, right onto your sitting bones. So whether you're sitting like this, sitting cross-legged, sitting in the car, just make sure you're not sitting on your tailbone and you're sitting on your two sits bones. Now let's move forward with a couple exercises. So your first exercise is going to be just something to make you aware of your pelvis. So what we're gonna do here is curl the tailbone under, so rounding out your lower back, looking down to your belly button, making a nice cat shape. And then you're gonna lift your tail and lift your crown, okay? And we're gonna round down, and we're gonna lift, lift. And sometimes this can really move the needle in that tailbone pain. And it's always the simplest exercises that make the biggest difference. So when you lift your tail, really stick your tailbone out and away, lifting your sits bones, and then curl your tail down like you're curling your tail between your knees. Good, lifting up and coming down. Let's do that about 10 times, okay? Now the next one you're gonna do, keep your knees where they are, but separate your feet a little bit, okay? So your feet are on the outer corners of your mat, your knees are right underneath your hips, and you're gonna sit yourself back, think of freeing that tailbone, so releasing through your pelvic floor, and then we're coming forward. Sitting back, release the tail, release the pelvic floor, sitting forward, good, sitting back, sitting forward. So that's giving your sitting bones, your pelvic floor, your lower back, your inner thighs, a nice release. Good. Sitting back and coming forward. Let's do three more times. Sit back and come forward. Let's go to, I'd say about 10 reps each of these exercises every day. Last one. And when you're in this back position, think of lifting your tailbone, sending it back away from you, and imagine that tailbone wagging from side to side. So you do a little wag of your tail. A little wag of your tail. A little wag of your tail. 
little side to side. So just trying to free up that tailbone area. Good, little side to side, side to side. Beautiful, now you're gonna come forward. Now the last exercise I wanna give you before we use our trigger point ball is you're gonna come down, we're gonna do a glute bridge. So we're down at the bottom of the shape. Bring your heels in right underneath your knees, okay? Make sure you have a neutral pelvis for this. So imagine this little triangle between your hip bones and your pubic bone. Connect to your core, so exhale. Tighten the tummy, press into the feet, lift the hips up, free the tailbone. So we're working through our glutes here. We're gonna lower back down. So you're lifting your hips up and you're lowering back down. So we're trying to work through hamstrings and bum. Lowering down, exhaling to lift. Lowering down, exhaling to lift. Stretch those thigh bones away from your face, engaging through the glutes and lower back down. Once again, I say 10 reps, okay? Exhale, shoot, and back down. And just unclench through the pelvic floor here. And back down. Let's do four more. Hugging the core on. Let's go three. Good. We'll go two. Really be intentional with working your back body. Last one, lifting up. And lowering down. Beautiful job. Okay, now we're gonna grab our little trigger point ball. And <laughs> little disclaimer alert, this exercise isn't always comfortable, okay? So just know that before attempting it. So picture your pelvis like a bowl, okay? So you have your two iliums, you have your sits bones, you have your sacrum, your coccyx at the bottom, okay? The bottom of the tailbone. And it really is like an open, an open circle right there, right? And inside of that circle is all our fleshy pelvic floor tissues. So what we're working on doing is releasing some of the tissues that could be quite tight around the tailbone that are causing you some pain. So you are gonna take this little, little ball, I almost said squishy ball, but it's not that squishy, and you're gonna wedge it between your sitting bones, okay? and between your butthole, essentially. So between your sitting bones and your butthole, you're gonna wedge it under there, <laughs> and you're gonna hold, and you're just gonna hang out. And you're just gonna get comfortable with it. So you might wanna do this one alone. Take a big breath in, and side out. And you'll know right away if those tissues are very tight, and it could feel very different from side to side. But I say give it about five breaths, Make sure you're breathing. You can wiggle forward a little bit so you're hitting different spots. Maybe wiggle back a little bit so you're closer to the tailbone area. Let's do one more breath. You can really feel those tight muscles starting to release. You're gonna come up off of your ball. We're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. So locate your sitting bone, where your tailbone is, where your, where your bum is, and you're gonna just sit down on that ball. Totally different story, left side to right. And you might notice that too. It's definitely more sensitive on this side, so we'll take a big breath in. Exhale, sigh. Five total breaths, big breath in. Exhale. Maybe move a little bit more forward so you're getting just different corners of those muscles. <sighs> Two more breaths. Concentrate on melting tension, <sighs> not holding tension anywhere, even when it feels uncomfortable. One more breath. <sighs> All right, you're gonna take that ball out from underneath hopefully feeling a lot more grounded, a lot more released in those sitting bones, a lot more awareness around the coccyx, the tailbone. You can put that trigger point ball off to the side. Thank yourself for showing up to this practice. Remember 10 exercises, or sorry, 10 reps of each exercise every day until the pain has cleared. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to let me know below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.